All right, straight back into it, and he's returned his turn. I'm um, pretty much as you, we've left it. Um, he's attacked everywhere, apart from that cavalry down in the south. Um, he seems to be withdrawing them. He attacked up here with what he could, sent some of our boys flying by the look of it. And uh, again over here, he tried, he's moved some units around. There's a lot of disorderment, so it's not like he's attacking with every single stack. It's just pretty much as he can. Um, visibility now is 12 hexes, so everything has become, well not everything, but that front line is once again visible. And if we're not careful, we're going to have a lot of troops caught out in the open. Um, around South Garden as well, or Klein South Garden. Uh, he, he actually blasted these guys on their flank, um, so that, and he uh, pushed some units back here, and of course more cavalry. Um, don't know if it was fresh cavalry. I'd say it looks like fresh cavalry. Um, so those guard cavalry of mine need to hurry up, um, get into the fray, um, because it's not going that well. He's pushed that cavalry back, so we're going to continue pressing on there. Sir Palin it isn't as defended as I maybe thought, but it's still, you know, we're still going to have to deal with it. It's not going to be an easy take. His artillery can now see everybody. So, yeah, it, it's um, it's going to be an epic turn, and I've got to be careful. Get these guys out of Alao, pull them back out of the range of those guns, because those guns are lethal. Look how many there is. Um, having a look at the weather forecast, um, we're going to have heavy snow again in an hour, so six turns Good. So bring everybody back, rest them. Um, I suppose the question is, can we can? We can start using our black powder weapons again now, which is good. So, uh, especially up in this end where all these squares are and stuff, we can start to fire upon them with our muskets. Um, down at this end, uh, it's not as major. Um, but yeah, I'll get back to you once I've moved everybody around. Right, I've moved everybody I can move. Um, this cavalry up here with this one crossing point, it is really annoying. Everyone's becoming disordered, so it's not going to be that exciting up here. I don't think, apart from these guys, that I've actually got um, any charges, really. Um, I've moved some people around. I've kept some cavalry this side of the river, just because it's going to take me all day to actually get them across. Um, and I don't actually have that many people or, or units that I can actually charge with. But these guys like Cav, okay, but he'll do. So we'll try and push him back. Those guns are opening up. So there's another consideration now. We're going to have to start well, using our own guns as well. So swings and roundabouts. Where's that from? Up there. I allies have so many guns, just in a lot of titles, especially the later ones. Just absolutely crazy the number of guns they have. 40, 90, 40, so we'll have these. Don't think I can charge with much here, I've got one squadron, no. Ah, Karasias, you can. Uh, hop forward, come up and lead your boys in. Hopefully get rid of them. And make a dent in them. Not that great. There's a lot of them. Um, these guns. We've got Prussians. Oh yeah. We'll take some Prussians. Nice. Um, around here. One squadron across those against... Yeah, well, why not? Against one squadron of Hussars. As it should be. They're disordered. They aren't disordered. Will they have the legs to come up? Yes, and these guys can charge as well. Uh, what have we got? Charging and charging. Let's go. Crashes are really let me down so far in this game. Uh, move this square up then. And this square. Um, this horse artillery I moved this turn. Good. Nice. He does have quite a bit of cavalry up here as well. Whether that's his old cavalry from the last few turns, I th think it might be looking at the numbers. To sort of, yeah, I'd say looking at the numbers. Um, I'll crack there. And the skirmish is in the little town, village. Um, 
this is what concerns me now. We've still got troops in around Eilau, or they have, and now all the guns can see. So they are probably... Mm, not quite. More guns there. Um, they're probably sitting ducks. Not as bad as I thought, maybe. Um, but we certainly need to get them out of their harm's way. Best artillery up here hasn't done very well at all. Uh, okay. Bit better. They got range on them. No, skir skirmish is in the way. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's the hex. Yeah, I can see through skirmishes. Uh, so we've still got 600 and maybe not enough guard. I'll tell you what, let's get these Chester RPAs up. And take this town back. This church. That's better. A little bit better. Uh, what have we got here? So these guns on these guys. been a very costly attack for them, but it has sort of for us as well. Uh, it hasn't been light by any stretch of the imagination. We did break the guard down here. Um, these Grenadier of Pierre, he, he broke them. Send them packing. Um, so he's going to pay for that. Better. Um, move those guys around. We got here 500 against 100. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a go. Do I fire with that horse artillery? Remember, yeah, it has fired and has fired. Skirmishes can have a go. Soften them off a little bit and hopefully sort them out. Nice. Uh, they're disordered. Cavalry. Oh, look at that stack of units. Okay, um, cavalry. We're going to have to get them involved now and quick be just because they are in direct line of, what's that, 20 guns possibly, something like that. So they're going to help mop up, get this out of the way, get all these guys, send them packing, and then get them out of the way. So many opportunities. Um, sort of just proving my point. All right, we'll see what they can do. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, it's a big old unit, I suppose. Moscow Grenadiers. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'll move troops back here just because of all these guns, um, and he has them facing me on the high ground. Um, but you can only see the guys that are sort of close to Sir Palin there. So, I did unlimber a horse artillery battery there. Start the bombardment prior to the assault. Continue and moving everybody up. The good news with the cavalry is that there isn't much disorderment at all. So, we can pretty much play with them all here. Um, so it's just a case of making sure... Um, there aren't too many Russian guns up there, and they're facing that way. There's guns up here. We need. To, I want to try and take them as quick as possible. So the momentum of this cavalry charge might be to sort of where those artillery, is, where that artillery is on the high ground. So I might continue as much as possible. That's a big old lump there. We'll get some reinforcements into attack as well. Charging. Right, so we do. Bad. Um, okay. Could attack with them. Yeah, they sorted. Oh. 
Oops. She really had a look if any artillery could fire under the couldn't anyway. Um, who else have we got? Okay, Millhart and Anonymous. Need your goals in. And Okay, so not too bad. Um, who else have we got? Can't attack in towns. Pretty useless to attack in towns. Um, these guys. I don't think anyone's going to have the legs now. But we can set them up for the next time. Push them forward. These guys pull as well. So we do the, the front line cavalry that I've used here are pretty tired and fatigued and a little bit disordered. We've still got quite a lot of fresh cavalry um, to come through. You can't hit everything. So that's the plan is carry on the momentum of this cavalry charge and use it as a as a proper cavalry charge would be, just to try and gain some ground and push them back. It's been a heavy fight in here so far. Um, but we are winning with our numbers. Um, some Cossacks appeared uh, right in sort of on the flank of the Guard Cavalry. So not the pe best place to be for Cossacks. Uh, they'll make short work of them. But I do have those Sasso Chevals uh, tailing them all this way. Uh, so they're going to have a go next turn. Uh, continued moving forward here. Unlimited that uh, those guns going to square. I should have gone into. Never mind. Should have gone into the hex with the artillery, really. 60 Cossacks, okay. Not too many. Um, what I could do is bring. Bring these guys forward for a bit of a flank attack on that battery if I can. If I can. Shasta Chevals, they just went all hectic. Um, and I probably overslacked by the look of it. Um, but they're all disordered and I'm pulling them out anyway. Up here, um, all this hot artillery, all these horses, um, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. But I have set some uh, attacks up, so we'll see if we can't take some guns with us um, and buy us a little bit of time. No, oh, Jesus. Artillery, uh, unlimited artillery, the artillery men in the game, that is one comment I make regularly. They seem to be superhuman, absolutely superhuman. Uh, I mean, those guns aren't facing, I could understand if they were firing at them point blank, but come on, how many guns there? Nine guns with all their crew against 600 odd men? I, I don't know, anyway, um, so I take it's going to be the same here. Right. Uh, I've got any leaders around here. He's up there. He's got. He's all lined up for an attack as well. Well, let's try and see what we can do with these guns. No, that's it. Sometimes it is quite annoying, if I'm honest. I'll put these guns up here. Uh, give them some protection. Uh, and I did set these guys up to attack who attacked us the last time. It's about 1,200 odd men, so I'm not going to charge them with 1,000 men. Oh, am I? No, because it's too much disorderment. They'll be bunched up that artillery all on limber and then take advantage of overstacked units or big stacks of units. So just having a quick look at the numbers. He's almost on 10,000 infantry, 5,000 cavalry. Locked one gun to my 38. My numbers aren't doing too bad. Um, I'm fairly happy with it. I'm not overly concerned about anything. Maybe Eilau, uh, north of this part of Eilau, need to start getting troops back. We do have heavy snow coming again in another hour or so. Um, cavalry is going to carry on charging south of Sapalan. Guard cavalry are going to go around to the east of the woods. Um, and hopefully I can do something with Klein South Scott. And that was quite a surprise, a bit of a shock to see all that lot there. And they sort of... Sounds me right for saying it's nice and quiet up there and nothing's happening. I didn't expect him to, to have just so much cavalry and so many guns. They just seem to be everywhere. Um, but there we go. Turn 38 then and <laughs> he can definitely see us with those guns. 
a couple of units took absolute severe punishment these guys in particular uh the cavalry here and yeah um around klein south garden it's not going well at all um he's moving guns behind me um he's brought loads more infantry he's unlimited guns here there and everywhere so i think i might have to withdraw from klein south garden uh, maybe get a uh, look at uh, just it hasn't gone very well up there um at all so i'm gonna have to maybe establish sort of a front line here so they can fall back to it and hopefully these guys can push forward as much as possible and cause a little bit of panic so it's not going the greatest he has pulled all that cavalry back here or he is pulling them back um up in the north um that turn uh, he didn't really attack with too much um he sort of withdrew a lot of guns in the open so hopefully we can try and get them some relative prussian cavalry there pulled everyone across this other river didn't attack much at all he sort of went back a little bit or a hex or two here and there um and he's withdrawing his infantry slowly but surely from around Eilau. But that's probably because he can just fire at will with all of these guns. And I got a, I don't know, 100 gun salute, something like that. Um, and he absolutely, absolutely battered these guys, these line troops and cavalry as well. Um, around here he had a couple of pot shots as well. So yeah, business as usual. Let's hope I can push forward around Sir, pa uh, Sir Palin. Um, Klein South Scotland, they, those guys are cut off. Um, didn't kind of expect him to have that much in reserve. I thought all his guns would be spread out. Um, all 400 of them, you know, sort of spread out here. And he has got a lot there. He's got some fresh cavalry. So, yeah, these guys need to come out. They're pretty sharpish. So, I'll get back to you in a few minutes. So, getting back into it now. Um, I didn't actually move that much uh, just because I don't want to disrupt all my cavalry. Um, and a lot of stuff was actually quite good to go. Um, so I'm going to get straight into it here and start attacking these Prussians from the off. Um, and hopefully be able to start to take these guns uh, maybe next turn. Um, they can get in on it as well. Looking forward to the visibility going down again and heavy snowstorm. Uh, not so many guns are able to be used. However, we can charge, hopefully. Oh, nice, I'm just overrun them. Oh, we are. Uh, now, is it worth. No, they can't. Oh, they can continue. Yeah, why not? We'll try. Uh, it was worth it then. It was worth it. We lost a lot of hussars, but we've taken two batteries of guns. Happy days. Um, these guys can. I don't think they'll have the legs to do it. I mean, try. Oh, they do. Not the best. We've got some art uh, cavalry up here waiting. These hussars are going to have a crack at these dragoons. And a second lot as well. The Prussian cavalry was doing quite well. He's used it quite sort of piecemeal. They won't be able to. But we'll shadow just in case. Um, they will pull them up now. We'll push some guys back. And up here, you follow them up. It's all sort of got a little bit mixed up everywhere around here now. But not to worry, they're doing a job. So we're pushing the Prussians back, that cavalry there. Slowly but surely, pushing those guys back. Um, around here... Oh, that's them going. Um, yeah, and hopefully we'll push these guys back. Do. Uh, some heavy cavalry. Where's the hot... Oh, where is he? Where is he? There he is. So we'll get him in on the action too, leaders. And hopefully push these Russians back. I'd say that's because they can actually go anywhere. Uh, they're disordered. Uh, do I leave them there until next turn? I think I will. Well, this heavy cavalry, these crosses, who haven't done that well so far. Hopefully they do a little bit better now. 
Okay, um, 1800, so have a crack at them with artillery. Nice, that artillery is doing well. Uh, 30, yeah, we'll take Guyar. And have a go at these Russians, and more Russians appear. Nice, they're disordered. They're just a bit of a mess. We'll turn them around so at least they're facing the same way. Um, artillery here. Quite a strong amount of dragoons there. Ah, they can't see. It's my fault. Uh, I wonder if they can see those hussars if I turn them around. And they can. And we'll have a go at those dragoons at the top of the pile. And some infantry fire as well. That's one good thing, I suppose, with not having the heavy snow and snowstorms, is we can actually fire with our muskets. Um, and I think I will charge them up. But what's going to happen now is I'll lose my points when I get abreast of these guys. No, I thought I would. Happy days. I'm happy with that. Push them back. Uh, they can't do anything. They are one squadron. Not worth it with one squadron. Uh, they can follow that. These guys will follow these guys up. Oops. Or not. So that's about all we can do there. Around Eilau, he is disengaging. He's pulling everybody back. Um, this square was getting hammered. So what I'm going to do is by the artillery. So I'm going to pull them back a little bit as well. Out the way. And I'll show you one thing in a second. Uh, let me think now, they're bunched up. Put both my guard units in line, um, and they're sort of... Um, it's hard to see. Normally it's sort of one behind the other, but it's sort of one behind the other at a slant. Never seen that before, but... Um, oh good, I take it we can still use them both and move one up to the top of the pile. Um, just you see the sort of on top of another side by side but not quite side by side just looks a bit strange so bring them to the top of the stack and then have a go at the tobles too bad god have suffered quite a lot I don't think we'll be able to see those will we no um skirmishes will be able to see them though and I started pulling troops back now. If he's pulling back, I'm going to pull back as well. Guards suffered there quite badly. Um, and you are in the way again. Indirect fire. Twice I've done that now. Yeah, during this game, twice I've done that. I don't pay attention to what's a house. So sometimes it can land on your own troops. They're a little bit indiscriminate. Uh, pulled those Chateau Chevals back. Um, I lost the whole squadron. Uh, pulling them back with opportunity fire um, they suffered and didn't really do anything but we needed to protect that flank just in case those Russians broke through there across that frozen lake um, around here uh, I think how rested are they we might just start pushing them because we need some help there we need to break all this around here so we can put go up to the Klein Salgarten, Salzgarten and start helping some troops so we're going to get into it and start attacking. Start the assault on, on the village. On Sir Parlin. So, well defended. They're in a hex. Town hex. Okay. The best start. Um, they're a bit fresher, so we'll pull these guys up as well. Not going that well. Some light troops here. And they needed some reinforcements, so they get these line troops up with them. Uh, Kandras can come forward and lead that attack. That's a bit more like it. Commit a bit more troops, Ross. Be a bit braver with your guys. Um, can't fire on everything, so I will bring troops forward now. Who's up there with them? Um, column. 
got to be careful though, but just I don't want to bunch them up. They're protected there, unless he's got another artillery there. I don't think he has. Uh, they're protected there, so that's not too bad. Um, it's a bit of a mess down here. A bit, a bit claustrophobic, a bit chaotic. So we can have a go. Oh, they've all sorted themselves out. Those Alexandria Hussars definitely have a crack at them. And probably another crack, to be honest, with this gun. That's a bit better, actually, 80 odd. Um, who else? Those Sony Sumi Hussars. Let's. Uh, no, I don't think we can. Okay. Um, I pulled these guys around to the flank of this battery. Just, you never know, we might be able to take it. Definitely worth the risk. <sighs> no. No, never mind. Um, but we do have a lot of cavalry ready for the charge, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Continue pushing forward. Not the greatest. Uh, these guys are overstacked, so... Um, not with them. I'll leave Grushi. Look at that front, out the front. Hold on, Grushi. Hold on. Uh, disordered. Not many. They're disordered. But what I will do is attack with them. And then the ones from here that aren't disordered. Uh, yeah, there. Wow. Okay, fair enough. Didn't expect that. Uh, they haven't fired. They can fire now. And they have fired... Goons there. Might not have the legs. I'm going after the infantry. Oh, they do have the legs. They're in amongst them. Right in front of the guns, but... Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, so we'll bring them up for the next time. And these guys... Oh, he hasn't got too many guns. Uh, I'm going to move them away from the town just because of the attack. Um, in the town. And I'll keep some there. It's all just a little bit chaotic and messy. So I'm having to narrow them down a little bit rather than have a wide front with cavalry. Bring them all forward piecemeal, a couple of hexes at a time. They're disordered. They are good to go. Murat, well done. Get into it. Go through them, through them. They are steady. They are steady. Mind you, there is quite a few of them. Um, another charge available. Let's see if we can't push these guys back. No, 54 is like a... Um, but we can have a second charge on them. That's exactly what we do. Okay, so that's sorting out that mess around there. We haven't pushed them back though. We started off sort of on this road um, and have pushed them back across this flat area here. And we've done quite well. Um, but the big problem, as I said before, is up here at Klein Salzgart and the troops routing. Those Cossacks are going to have them if we're not careful. Um, cavalry there. Wow. Just, yeah, wow. Um, Everyone disordered, so they can't actually attack anyway. Yeah, I'm going to have to, I think, just fall back. And hope that I can just establish something resembling a bit of a front line. Uh, start, yeah, establish something that resembles a bit of a front line um, on this high ground over here. We don't seem to have Cossacks there. If we can continue pushing on here and link up with them, it will strengthen it a little bit. That's the plan. Sounds easy. Um, for someone that wanted to play, oh, I'll, I want to just play a defensive battle. He's, he's attacked more than I have, I think. But there we go. That's, um, you've got to play with or what's in front of you and adapt to the situation. And yeah, yeah. Looking at figures then. 10,000 troops and a thousand he's almost six thousand cavalry and our numbers are creeping up now as well so we're still on for a major victory but i want to smash as much of my opponent as possible now just because he's been so cheeky and decided to attack 
Um, but it has been enjoyable. It's been quite a good battle. I've really enjoyed it so far. And approaching halfway now. 